So for um, this question, um, there is the long proper way to do it. And um, you can, I certainly do encourage you to be aware of where this uh, formula is. Um, there's a conversion factor so from uh, Fahrenheit to Celsius and uh, Fahrenheit to Kelvin. Uh, Fahrenheit to Kelvin is basically you convert to Celsius and then at 273.15. Good, uh, you should uh, know how to do it by hand. Let me take a little bit of a shortcut um, so that, um, I don't know, if a shortcut is useful maybe if you are um, having whatever calculator issues, this can be a way to double check. So let me go to Ofram Alpha. This is my shortcut. Uh, one of the really unique feature of Ofram Alpha is that it's a unit aware. It When you do calculations with it, it's aware of physical units. And um, it's aware of challenging units like uh, temperatures. Temperature units are hard because they involve arbitrary offsets and whatnot. And Ofram Alpha knows how to handle that. So if you ask, what is a 6.5 Fahrenheit? Oh, can I spell Fahrenheit? <laughs> Fahrenheit. <laughs> I think there's an H in here somewhere. Uh, Fahrenheit in Kelvin. Um, I don't know. I'm... Ulfram Alpha has some natural language processing. Um, they can also work through whatever typos I have. Uh, 291.2. Um, and then 127 Fahrenheit in Kelvin. And um, so normally, well, not no. If we were taking any in-person exams, I would caution you that well, you have to know how to do it by hand because when you're taking in-person exam, you won't have access to all from alpha. That would be true in an in-person exam. Um, we are doing everything 100% online and um, I'm not prohibiting you from using all from alpha. As long as you're using it as calculator, you're fine. Um, you can use it. So, um, so I, as far as this class is concerned, I don't think there's any context where you need to worry about what if I don't have access to from Alpha. Um, uh, again, I, I do think people should know how to do it by hand, but this is a shortcut and this is an, an a lot of shortcut as far as this class is concerned. And it reflects the real life realities a little bit more uh, faithfully. Like if you're doing real engineering work, um, no one would tell you that you can't use this particular tool. Why not? <laughs> so, uh, because uh, really when people employ you as an engineer or scientist, um, they are paying you for things that Ofram Alpha can't do. So, so they're not worried about you using Ofram Alpha as you're doing your paid work. <laughs>